Hi, welcome to Cannabev. Today we talk about how hemp is cannabis too and how to read the ingredients label on a CBD product. On Friday the 13th, a city destroying asteroid whizzed by the Earth. When did we find this out? Saturday the 14th. This is Cannabev. <laughs> Hi everybody and welcome to Cannabev. So as illustrated in this season's teaser, I want to talk about some of the misconceptions about cannabis. So cannabis gets you high. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Cannabis gets you what? Um, hi. Not all cannabis products. N no, I meant hello. Hi. So not all cannabis products get you high? No. Cannabis encompasses more than just a single plant. Explain. Easy, Chris. You see, when we talk about cannabis, we're talking about the same species of plant. Hemp and what is called marijuana are actually the same species, but have distinguishable differences, which I'll go into in a bit. But as an aside, there will be future episodes discussing the term marijuana and some of the other interesting marketing terms used when describing cannabis and some of the people who use it. Right, Chris? Okay. Physically, hemp and marijuana look similar, but have a few distinguishable differences. Hemp usually has longer stalks and narrower leaves, where marijuana is usually a shorter plant with broader leaves. Now, the main difference between the two, as far as consumer is concerned, is how they're different chemically. Right, hemp has CBD and marijuana has THC. Close. Now, hemp doesn't just have CBD in it. It has a number of other cannabinoids like CBG and CBN in them that also have therapeutic properties to them. So wait, do CBG and CBN have psychoactive effects just like THC? No. CBG and CBN behave in the body similarly to CBD, so it doesn't have the psychoactive and euphoric effects that THC does. I see. So while marijuana has high values of THC in it, it's still cannabis. And hemp, though it has little to no psychoactive effects to it, hemp is cannabis too. Wow, that is really convenient to this channel. You said it, friend. I'll take it from here. So, say you're interested in the healing properties of cannabis, but don't want the psychoactive effects of THC. CBD products may be something that you might be interested in. So how do you know if these products work? Do you have difficulty sleeping at night? They make CBD brownies that you have right before bed to help you sleep. Do you have achy joints? There are balms and salves that you can put on your joints that help with inflammation. Are these products cure for these ailments? The short answer is we don't know because we haven't had the opportunity to study the cannabis plant. That being said, based on the quality of the cannabis used and the extraction process, there are a number of high quality CBD products in the market that have benefits. Now, finding a CBD product that lives up to the hype is not a fool's errand. Unfortunately, there is a lot of exploration involved because there is a wide disparity in the level of quality of CBD products. A lot of the information that you're looking for should be on the label. As mentioned in past episodes, reading a CBD product label can be difficult. There's a lot of terminology that can seem overwhelming. Extraction process, oil, tincture, broad or full spectrum can seem like a foreign language to you. But just like in wine, once you learn the terminology, you'll be able to find a product that works for you. This is where I'd like to bring in a friend and colleague of mine. She and I both work in the Bev industry. She's an active hemp advocate and a great resource on hemp and hemp extraction. Please meet Sarah Sykes of Sarah Rose Botanicals. Hey folks, I'm happy to be here with you all. I'm Chris. Thanks again for having me. My name is Sarah Sykes and I specialize in customized CBD care plans for people and their loved ones. I'm a health coach, patient advocate, and longtime cannabis enthusiast. As Chris mentioned, the CBD product selection process can be overwhelming. There are many terms being used in the market currently to sell and differentiate CBD oil. In my opinion as a CBD expert, as long as the product bottle itself lists the CBD milligram content, says hemp extract or uses similar terminology, lists supplement facts, lists a designated country of origin, 
and has visible contact information for the company or QR code, you should be in a good position for making a product selection and the product should be safe for use. Some key terms to look for when reviewing hemp-derived CBD oil are full spectrum, hemp extract, and hemp oil. Full spectrum hemp oil contains all of the naturally occurring plant material that isn't lost to heat, light, or filtration during the extraction process. Unless you know and trust your source, avoid using products with unmarked labels or products with minimal or conflicting labeled information. The more specific the label information, such as the state the hemp is grown in and the practices used, the better the product tends to be. Typically, the product supplement facts will be listed with the suggested serving size and the milligrams of CBD per serving. The ingredient section on the label is where the hemp extract and the carrier oils used will be listed, and some products use a blend. Make sure your CBD oil is full spectrum, contains the carrier oils of your preference, and that the brand has additional information available upon request. Be cautious of additives, colorants, and natural flavors. I personally enjoy CBD products that are full spectrum and that use a cold pressed hemp seed oil or a fractionated coconut oil as the carrier. Ideally, the CBD will be terpene rich as well. And if you don't know what I mean by terpenes, check out Chris's episode all about them. Does this make sense? Makes sense to me. Now I know a lot of the information may seem overwhelming, but if you stick with the information that Sarah offered today, you will be on your way to finding a CBD cannabis product that works for you and your well-being. Speaking of cannabis products, let's send it back to Sarah real quick to see what kind of CBD product she's enjoying. I'm going to toast with the CBD Nitro Style Infused Beverage that I haven't tried before. This can contains 25 milligrams of broad spectrum CBD, so it's THC free. Cheers! Cheers, Sarah. Now I made myself a tea and add a little bit of the Nature's Grace and Wellness 2 to 1 CBD Honey. It is a 2 to 1 CBD to THC edible, so 10 milligrams of CBD and 5 milligrams of THC to each small packet. There are 10 in a package. So the lift I get from this will be slight, but certainly enjoyable. Mm. All right, folks, that is episode two of season two. I want to thank the folks that made this episode possible. Curtis White for help with the script. Alina Rodell for help with the graphics. Tanner Melvin of Side Street Studio Arts. And of course, Sarah Sykes of Sarah Rose Botanicals. Let's send it out to her one last time. Thanks again, Canavev. If any of you folks would like to learn more about CBD products, please feel free to reach out for a personalized consultation. You can reach me on IG at sarah.rose.botanicals or email hello at sarahrosebotanicals.com. Catch you at the next episode. That's my part. Catch you at the next episode.